What is up, KOTOR family? Uh, I figured I would do it this way. Uh, usually we have the KOTOR radio or I have a bunch of images on screen that you can see. Um, so I don't have to talk or be on camera, but I figured, you know what? This is a big announcement and I should be on camera for it. And uh, since the schmodown, I guess I've been used to being on camera lately too, if you haven't seen that. But anyways, uh, I have a big announcement. We have a big announcement as far as the KOTOR group is concerned. And uh, I figured uh, what better way to do it than to just get a little eye contact with you guys. Uh, put my old poster right. It's not usually on the wall there, but uh, for a little set. So um, basically, um, this comes out of necessity, but not really necessity, but uh, a necessity to our fans because we realize this is about Revan, by the way. So um, we're canceling it. <laughs> just, just kidding. We're not canceling it. Um, this comes out of necessity uh, for what uh, has been a big burden on us. And not a burden, that's the wrong word, but uh, we have been very uh, cognizant of your fandom and the fans being loyal and being very patient waiting for this. I mean, we've been working on Revan for years. The fact is, and I've said it in the Road to Revan before, and I'll say it again on Kotor Radio, the red, bright lights here, but it makes for a cool little design. Um, it's just muted TV. Uh, the Revan, um, the Road to Revan, we've, we've spoke about how tough it is to set up a, a game or a movie that doesn't have any game. It's not KOTOR. We're not utilizing existing dialogue, existing scenes, existing everything. Like this is absolute starting from scratch with planets that haven't been on the on on in the game. You know what I mean? Uh and there's some planets are, but for our script, uh, you know, which you're seeing here, this great video of the script being finished by the great Greg Mitchell, who came aboard and helped me land the bird, let's say. I mean he really took it into his own. He we had a lot I had a I had a chunk, a significant chunk written, and he helped not only improve that chunk, and then he actually took the rest, and uh, over several weeks, him and I got together, and also with feedback from the other guys, and we just got a great script, and so, to be honest, uh, I couldn't have been happier with how it turned out, and uh, the we go all over the place in that script, there's many planets, planets that have never been in the games, Coruscant, um, well, I don't want to spoil what other planets, but, you know, let's just say it's Mandalorian Wars. We're showing everything. So that said, on top of that, um, we realize the amount of setup work with the light maps that uh, Twig has been doing, uh, Darth Icy. Uh, think of it this way. When you create a new land and or area or whatever and you want to have it um, lit a certain way, you have to create new light maps. So if I want Onderon, which, you know, these guys, anything I ask for, they're amazing and they do it. So, you know, there's a scene that calls for a walk between our main character, Sereth, and Revan on Onderon at night. I need a night Onderon shot. Night Onderon doesn't exist. And you can do it in post and desaturate it and lower it and make it blue, not red like it looks now. Um, you can do that and that's fine. Or you can get a new sky map make the sky stars. You know, we did that, if you remember, in episode three on uh, uh, Corbin. You, we did that night scene with Ithura and her origin story. That was great. That was, you know, that's not a, that's usually a day scene. We made it look like night in the game. So you have to create light maps for that. And Onderon is very tricky. So meanwhile, when you're needing to change it and make everything look like it's sunset or sunrise or a, th a thunderous storm for a very important scene I won't tell you about or a nighttime scene, all of the light maps get replaced, and Twig or Icy has to literally go in and assign lights to ev almost every single building wall piece of geometry in that. I'm probably butchering it. I'm probably making it sound even less than it is, but or worse, I don't know. But every single piece of geometry in that land has to be relit, and if it's not, if there's one little screw up in the coding or however they do it. It's dot core talk, like I say. It'll just the the wall will be complete pitch black. It won't have any lighting or texture or anything. That said, that's his setup that he's been doing. Then you have Jenks that's been working tirelessly on getting our um, models rigged and with the skeletal structures and designing our characters. Like we have char brand new characters that have never been seen. He has been uh, tirelessly working on bringing in the models from other avenues um designing new characters for us and also for ships he's going to be the cgi guy so it's got to get brand new ships in there so everything is all set up set up set up and it's 
frustrating because we want to do this. You know, we have lives too, and obviously we have side projects and stuff. But we want to get going, you know. Um, and so I've animated animatics that I've shown you guys pieces of. We have a finished script now. Greg can't wait to see how that all all comes down. Um, and the announcement is this: even if we work tirelessly now, we have most of the setup done. Like we're we're feeling pretty good about the setup. And, uh, well, we don't have most of the setup done, let me be honest. We have the setup for, like, the first act of the movie. Like, Onderon finally is getting there. We're still waiting on some more characters and stuff like that. But we're finally at a place where we have been shooting scenes. Um, and we've been shooting out of order to get to, out of necessity to do scenes that we just wouldn't normally be able to, or, or that we can do while we're waiting for setup for other scenes. That's been a big thing. So we can't shoot in order. We've been shooting out of order. And that's, it, it's an interesting way to go about things, but... You know, that I literally, we I, we have a scene edited right now that's like in the middle of the movie. That like, right now, this is where we're coming with uh, our announcement. If we were to work tirelessly, nonstop, and even quit our jobs and work, it would still probably be about a year, maybe two, before the final movie. And I get questions, when is it finished? When is it going to be finished? It's just because setup took so long, now we got to film scenes. And scenes are way intense. We have... It's a war. We have total full battle scenes. This is something that is going to take. If we work Tyler, uh, if we work nonstop on the on and off the clock, doesn't matter if we do it within a year. Maybe we ha we're halfway there. Maybe, maybe not. But you'll have it would be a year. But that's it's great footage and great work. It's going to be amazing. But we don't get half that. So then Game of Thrones comes around. And to be honest, a little bit of Cobra Kai. I love the Cobra Kai show. If you haven't seen that, you should watch Cobra Kai on YouTube Prime or whatever. But Game of Thrones, right? Here's a show that uh, had the Battle of Winterfell. And all week, all I could think about is, oh my god, this Battle of Winterfell. I wasn't even thinking about Endgame. I mean, I was. I was excited for that too. But I couldn't remember the last time a show, a weekly show, can get me invested so much to where I absolutely can't wait. And that's being fed to you piecemeal. I think you know where I'm going with this. So, the Revan movie, as it stands, we have a script. It's an amazing script. And that script will one day be a movie. We will one day have a movie that we'll have a premiere in L.A. for, just like we said. And that'll still be about a year or two down the road. That'll still happen. But, in a weird way, it's a different way to tell it. I could either tell you the movie is going to become a show, or I can tell you I'm going to release clips of the movie in chunks to make it like a show. Regardless, the Revan series now, there's gonna be, there's obviously three scripts for our saga. First one's finished. That will be a season. We are going to split Revan into segments for a short form show on YouTube or whatever, wherever we're gonna stream it. What does that mean for you guys? That means you don't have to wait two years to see the story unfold. That does mean for some movie purists who wanted a movie, you know, you're, yeah, we're gonna see it in pieces. Um, seen the footage at Celebration of the, the Mandalorian, seen how amazing that looks too. I'm just not as opposed in my head to the format of a shorter form where you're slowly piecemealing telling stories. What does that mean for you? It means that instead of waiting two years to see the first 20 minutes of the Revan movie, you're probably going to have to wait now months. Um, the Granted, the first two episodes are going to take a while because without spoiling, the first two scenes... <laughs> or the first two major sections of the movie are big set pieces. But that said, we are going to have the uh, in segments of 10 to 15 minutes. Some of them might even be longer. Just like Game of Thrones, there's the 82 minute episode, but then you'll have a there's a 50 minute episode. We're not going to be uh, we're going to make sure we're going to go through the script um, cuz there's going to be some parts where like, oh, this will be a great episode right here. But it's not long enough to be an episode, so we're going to be able to expand on it. So basically what you're going to get is our movie script expanded upon so we can have webisodes or episodes of that's going to be the high quality that it would be in the movie. But instead of just that segment of the script, every segment of episode, we're going to extend it and give it more breath. And we're going to have more in-depth characterization. We're going to get to really dive into these characters. And it's not going to be, you know, oh, well, we have to rush on, cram all this into like a two and a half hour movie or a two hour movie. Now we can take the script and this, you know, the, this first part is a 10 minute section. This will be great. Let's expand upon it and make it a 15 minute mini movie. So, or episode per se. 
So I don't think I'm spoiling anything because we've had a previous Road to Revenue where we showed you animatics. The first episode, uh, I can't give you a time when that's going to drop, but let's just say instead of saying, hey, it's going to be a year, we're going to say in a couple months you're going to get some Revan, and you're going to get to see Revan and Malik and uh, Mitra and all, all the gang together. Well, I don't know if you're going to see that. I don't want to spoil too much, but I will say the first episode that will drop in – couple months whether it's you're gonna have to give us some time still pardon uh, once we really get the ball rolling though then you're gonna start seeing episodes a lot more often we figure it's like a campfire instead of having a small little flame and then a giant piece of wood that slam on that flame and that's in three years why not we keep the fire stoked of the fandom all you loyal fans and give you something more often as often as we can and why not do it in tv format because game of thrones does it and it made me think about the battle of winterfell all week winterfell all week and uh, just imagine if you know that there's going to be another episode when you see a, our 20-minute segment and then you're like, oh, I can't wait to see the next 20 minutes. And you know you don't have to wait two or three years like for a movie. You're going to get to see that and you're going to get to see it in a couple months, maybe even a month. There are going to be some parts that are working concurrently with others. So one episode might come out a week or two after the first one. You know what I mean? So especially when we get into the more character-driven scenes where it's not as in, you know big – um, with big set pieces and stuff like that, all of a sudden you're going to start rolling. In fact, you know, giving you an update, uh, we have already filmed, like I said, um, uh, Brandon Darth Icy has already filmed the full scene, uh, which you've seen in the flashbacks and in the trailer, the, if, uh, then perhaps my time of the Jedi is over. That whole scene is done. We just have to get the actors in there to do it. So, like, there are going to be times where, oh my god, we already have... 10 minutes of the movie or of the next episode already done. Let's just get the bookends done. So um, it's going to be, we can't do it every week like a TV show, but we can let you know that you're going to start seeing the Revan content sooner than later. And it's only going to be a good thing because we're going to be to expand it. We're going to be able to tell a side story if we want while we're building up the thing. And the good and the best part is what an experiment this is that at the end of the day, all these episodes are being edited as episodes, but they're coming from that same script. Even when we expand and make one thing longer for a special episode or we do a side plot for an episode, the fact is the script still is there. Every scene from the script will be there. And so when we're done with season one, whenever that will be, we'll still combine it and the fans will still get the purists will still get a Revan movie. And we'll still have a premiere out here. Everybody's welcome to go. So you're getting best of both worlds. You're going to get a Revan movie in a couple of years, which you would have gotten you were going to get anyway. But instead, now we're going to give you scenes, well not scenes, we're going to give you 20 minute, 15 minute episodes and we're going to treat it like a serious show like The Mandalorian. Uh, you can search Mandalorian footage, it's amazing. Like The Mandalorian or Game of Thrones and we're going to really find these spots in the script, that's what we're working on now, where it's good cliffhangers, we can really make you guys like wait, like a TV show. So Revan, this movie will still come out in a couple of years. But until then, we're going to give you Revan, the series, The Mandalorian Wars. You're going to get to see it all, and it's going to be all expanded upon. It would be as if The Last Jedi was, well, whatever. It's a weird analogy, but it would be as if The Last Jedi was released in the 20-minute segments, and you got piece, you know, piecemeal. The first 20 minutes of The Last Jedi is that battle over, um, you know, the car or whatever, with the, with the ships escaping and uh, Poe being a badass and stuff like that. Now imagine at the end of that, you know, there's a moment and then you cut and then you have to wait. Yeah, and then you get the next scene with Rey on the island. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Last Jedi by now, come on. Long story short, we're going to get you the movie anyway, but we're going to give it to you in pieces. And this is an homage almost to episode one. In episode one, I didn't know if I was ever going to finish it. So I would literally release 10 minute segments at a time. I think for a while, the first 40 minutes were online and then I stopped doing that and then I finally released episode one. This is way back in 2006. So we're going back to little old school roots here. We're going to give you the scene. I can proudly say the first episode of our uh, movie, and this is – you've already seen some animatics for it, but it takes place uh, on Onderon. I'm not going to tell you what kind of time period it is, but uh, you will see what everybody's always dreamed of seeing, Revan and Jedi Malak kicking ass in the fray in the battlefield. Um, and you're going to see quite the impressive opening. It was originally supposed to be an opening for the movie, so uh, obviously we have to start big. And that's why the first episode still might take some time. But once we get the ball rolling with everything else, you're going to see a lot more content. It only could be good. It's, this is only good. You're still going to get the Revan movie in two years. You'd get that anyway. And if some of you want to avoid it until then, you can. You're patient. Um, but in, you can also going to get it, and we're going to expand on the stories. It's almost like getting deleted scenes and the director's cut before the movie's ever assembled. Uh, you're going to get it in piecemeal, 20, 15-minute segments. 
So that is the news, um, and that is uh, because our commitment to you, the fans. we got to get you something. It's been too long. It's my fault. I get it. It's our fault. So we need to get you something. And I couldn't be prouder of the ideas that we are already having. It's already gotten us more excited. It's a lot to think about how hard it is to edit this opening thing and then knowing like now we have all this and it's going to be two years and we're going to answer all the fans all the time. Now we're going to be able to release new content all the time, new previews. Uh, the channel, which has been a little, not dead, but just quiet lately, and the Facebook group and the Discord, we're going to be talking about KOTOR, we're going to be talking about Revan, the Mandalorian Wars, and everything, and it's it's going to be amazing. So just want to say that, uh, and I want to say that I'm proud of, of what we've accomplished already, even though you haven't seen any of it, and that's another reason. Let's get, you, let's get your eyeballs on it. So now you can be with us with the journey. The Mandalorian Wars are going to feel like you're part of it. It's going to be a, a long process. 20-minute segments, but like I said, uh, I think for the fans, you're going to get to see it more soon, uh, and uh, I think for us, it's just we want to get, we feel obligated, not obligated, we feel blessed that we can guys show you the, this, and we want to show it to you, and we don't want to wait two years, so it's us being impatient too. So I look forward to uh, hearing what you guys say, uh, definitely want to, we're doing this for you guys, and um, I'm excited for what the future is going to bring, so uh, stay tuned. Um, we still have a little more setup work to do, but then that first episode, once you see it, I mean, that first episode works on its own. In fact, when it was going to be a movie, I pitched that we could literally take this first epic scene, and I don't want to spoil it, that first epic scene, and that could exist if it, it, it could have existed as a mini movie. Or it reminds me of those awesome mini movies before uh, in the Star Wars Old Republic uh, MMO. Like, we have this concept, this idea that could exist in its own little mini movie if we want. And now that's going to be the pilot episode of our series. So, you're going to, we're going to be all over. I mean, I'm sure from the other road to Revan's, there's a train chase later that we have. Like, that'll be a full episode. Like, we are going to, this is going to be an incredible uh, ride. And you're going to all, pun intended, and you're going to get to all go for along with it. So, that is it. Revan, the series, also the movie, best of both worlds. That's happening. And uh, I'm happy I can relay this information to you, mano y mano, and to the ladies of the chat or whatever, too. That's ridiculous. But I'm going to end it, and I'm not even going to delete it. I should delete it, but that's hilarious. All right. Love my KOTOR fam. That's the announcement. I'll check you later.